Alright, hey guys, I've been looking forward, I just want to say, to, um, uh, showing, uh, all my friends this game for a long time. I've been, like, telling people about it, raving about it, about how it's my favorite game that I have ever played. And I, like, I, I forgot about it for a second and how much I wanted to show people it. And then I started the, uh, the after so the Afterfall videos, and I immediately just straight up just wanted to finish that se series there so I can start doing this game all right and I am uh, I'll admit I forgot about it for a little bit and then at about the third episode of afterfall I'm like oh I gotta start like running straight through this game and like getting it done and finishing it and blah 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 and I started rushing and then all of a sudden it's like I think I'm like halfway through the game I got through uh, uploading, and how the game just won't launch. So um, I I can't launch after fall. Like I've I've reinstalled it and everything, and it just won't launch. I hit launch, it brings up uh, the main menu, and then crashes after half a second. So I can't really do anything about that. I haven't really tried looking anything up about it yet, so I will. But we're definitely gonna finish this, and then I'll look into um. Uh, Getting after fall to work again. So, anyway, without there, further ado, I'm going to uh, make a cut because I forgot to do this little intro bit thing, and then I started uh, doing a slightly different intro. So, um, yeah, you'll see a cut, and then you'll see where I originally started recording. But basically, um, what how I'm talking right now is I just finished recording, like I just hit stop record. It, after saying that I was going to uh, hit record again anytime something happened, and then I realized that I didn't ever say this stuff, so I'm recording this afterwards. I just paused the game, went to the, after saving. I went to the main menu, so this is about like ten seconds after I stopped recording for the episode. But I'm doing this now, and I'll throw it at the beginning of the episode with um, uh, the magic of video editing. So see you guys. Okay, so. Probably one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. Let me make everything quiet. There we go. New game, master. There. Just wait for the loading screens, which do take a while. There we go. At 0123 on April 26, 1986, the reactor of Power Block 4 of Chernobyl NPP. Oh, God, no. Don't show this message. Is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe, and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30-kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station, as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. 
Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy, with survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roaming the area. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and 300 unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011. Despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012, a stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the brain scorcher is disabled, all stalkers rush for the center of the zone, some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts, others in search of the wish granter. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Major Dektarev, a USS special agent is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. Disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks worth of supplies and a radio to communicate with HQ, the Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. disregard uh, the mission we currently have because all these main missions we want to do those last because there's a lot of stuff to do in this game and if you what okay the game froze or something but it's okay if you do um uh, the main missions first it'll just end the game basically the main storyline is very short the fun part of the game is like searching the different anomalies and fighting random bandits and just like exploring so first, uh, I hit O and we take out this. Which we got our pistol, we've also got our anomaly scanner. And there, if we look at uh, the map, which you don't like place a waypoint in this, you actually just follow your map. Uh, there's the boiler anomaly, and we're gonna go, uh, go hunting there. Because there's an event there I want to show off, just to show. And that, uh, even though this is an old game, they, uh, they, they put, uh, thought and stuff to it. Also, I want to point out, I will be, um, uh... Okay, this doesn't seem to like crap too much. Okay, one... Okay, okay, I freeze this in my hard drive, which is good. Anyway, uh, I will be, like, uh, quick saving very frequently, because this game doesn't have checkpoints, it only has saves, and I don't feel like doing things over again. Also, in combat, I will, um quick save just about every time I reload that way if I that basically means I have to be careful with my ammo because when I'm saving every time I reload it means that any ammo I waste is wasted forever alright do you mind do you see this crosshair like the, the size of it going name down sights doesn't make uh, it any more accurate you can imagine that crosshair is still there just that the gun is still just as inaccurate it just zooms us in a little bit, basically. At least with the early grade, or early game, uh, like black market grade weaponry. Right? They start getting the military grade weaponry in 
the uh, the late game, then you get to like start sharpshooting guys. So this, see, if that were to fire at this guy, it take about three shots or so to hit him in the head. So look over here. Just relax and keep moving. Come on, man. Put yellow, that weapon away. That means that they are friendly with us. They are friends. Star means he's the leader of the group. And he's just a member. And blah, blah, blah. Why didn't we save for better suit? Or you can just look for the gas that's everywhere. Or... Let me just keep scroll wheeling. I don't know what number it is. Uh... Here we go. You have to hit uh, six. You can't just scroll wheel. But then if you chuck this at a uh, anomaly, it will set them off for you. So you can where he is. He's not safe. But can I get it far enough to be one of the uh, the guy strips? Uh, no, I can't. I can't go far enough to be one of the guy strips. Yeah. Anyway, since he's now our friend, if I talk to him, no. Uh, Fresh helicopters. He, he just gave me issues for the uh, he gave me information. Well, let's ask you something. Don't even want to have a job for me. Ask you something. Talk to you in the zone. Yeah, that guy gives you uh, special items for fortunes, basically. Now, I don't really like 
any of the special items aside from his pistol, and he's... That's really the only way that I've managed to get an exosuit in the game, was by getting a custom exosuit from him. He gives you exosuits, he gives you that, and I've kind of disliked all the other gear he gives. So we'll probably be grabbing a pistol from him sometime early game. Now, this is a quest location later on, so we're not going to be here now. Now, I have basically 100% of this game, like, three times already. And that's without ever, like, using a guide. But I've just played the game that much, so... Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Oh, this fight with the bandits. The bandits don't have a quarrel with us right now, so we could actually join them, but we're not going to do that. Get to the bandits. What a, uh, like 1911. Then we will reload our gun, and like I said before, we will reload it so we save. Ooh, a shotgun. This is the only bad shotgun in the game, in my opinion. So that's really useful. Oh, we can unload it. No, that had two shells in it. Fully loaded gun. Grab all the food and stuff. Because you do need to eat once every day, roughly. I like how corpses are marked on the map. That's really useful. For, uh, finding them all. The boss is over there. Go talk to him. Yeah, the like or the like grunter. How the hole? What are you up to? And you also put me Now I would like to go to the sawmill. I agree. Let's go. I believe I had that much money. I didn't even check my money. How much money do I have? Oh, 2,000 stuff. Alright, we're doing good. So this is gonna show us some of the, uh, more... ...supernatural combat in the game. See, this, my friends, is a zombie. And that also, my friends, is a zombie. Now... Let's accuracy with everything. More accuracy, more everything. Now, if we could not have them all safe, basically they're really dumb, they're almost blind, and they're kind of deaf. But you can't see us at this distance. Finish them off, because the zombies don't die unless you hit them on the. hit them once on the ground. I don't think the other zombies know we're here yet, because they are pretty dumb. Shows how fast he can die. Yeah, I, I'm not really paying attention. Normally, I wouldn't have even looted them until I had killed everything. But I'm just trying to uh, keep stuff out. Okay, that's loud shooting. I got an armor too, so, uh, I'm not really paying attention, I need to focus, which I don't really do well in, uh, well, when I'm recording. So, yeah, I need to, uh, 
Oh, man, it's worth it. Get back with them. Thank you kindly, sir. Oh! Not a bad gun. Why can I not say move the back? I got the grenades. Fine. We'll just drag them. difficulty right now, I wouldn't bother wasting the, uh, rifle rounds right now. And honestly, if I weren't doing commentary, I wouldn't bother using them either. Alright, he's down, but he's not dead, so he'll be getting up soon. But they don't go down way, so that's still... Just showing you, you can die to like a single bullet like that. Unless my health was low. Let's check. What was my health at when I uh, did the save? No, oh, my health wasn't even that low. Yeah, uh, a headshot from any an enemy to you is an instant kill. So keep that in mind. Just got to step fast. Our friends who uh, brought us here, which that's the fast travel in this game. You find a group and you pay them and they travel you. Uh, that was loud gunfire. I could tell it was at me. Oh, he's wondering, like, oh, the AI is awful. They can't hit you that close. That's because they're the zombies. The zombies aren't meant to be able to hit you very easily. And even sometimes they get lucky long range headshots. Okay. I swear I'm not this bad at the game. No, I'm not gonna die. Yeah. I'm trying to explain the game a lot. And I'm also trying to uh, keep talking. So I'm not just silent. And that, uh. If, believe me, that's not easy to do while uh, trying to focus. Now, if we could take this guy's suit, that would be really useful. But, uh. Sadly, we can't. Because you, you aren't stripping people naked in this game. You are... You are still a person. And you're just leaving a million corpses everywhere. And we have reloaded, so save. Backpack. See, we are over our weight, which means if we sprint, see how fast the stamina goes out? That's not good. So we're gonna fix that. <laughs> now, you 
might just bleed out on its own because of all those bullets. But that's not good enough. Now let's get out of the radiation zone. We're no longer being irradiated. Now we're going to hit I. We're going to drink some vodka because that, that depletes the radiation. Now what we're going to do is see, we, ha we have this AK, which is actually a decent AK. And then we're going to unload all the bad AKs. And we're going to drop them. Because they're too heavy and we don't have the space. Okay. Now we're going to get some bread. We're bleeding, so we're going to use this. Normally, if I weren't recording, I'd wait to heal, so I'm actually going to do that real quick, so I'll, uh, I'll see you when I've healed a bit. Okay, so we're back, I let myself heal a bit, and you do heal really slow in this game. Like, it, it's slow. Which is kind of the point. Once you get too roughed up, you gotta go to some camp. You can't just stay out in the zone forever. It doesn't work well for you. Like this as we're currently being irradiated. <coughs> and see, the uh, the vodka does make your stamina go down, and the only way to make your, uh, your stamina go up is by eating. So our uh, our max stamina is much lowered. Like, the bar goes up all the way, yeah, but that's probably less than half our character's actual stamina max. But, however, we can't use all the stamina because he has drank alcohol, and we need to eat to get it back. And I ate to make the healing process go faster. It easy to not heal you, but it does make the healing process go faster. I also went over our gear to decide which was probably the, uh, the better of the guns we had available. Wait, he's got armor. He's not dead. <laughs> See, they do scramble to pick up their guns. When they go down, they drop their guns. And they scramble initially to go grab them. He's got a shotgun. Hello, that is going to murder us. Anyway, the reason we're here is this survivor cache up here. Hello. We got a toolkit which allows us to upgrade our gear back at camp. Which is the real main reason we came, but all that supplies definitely is very nice and appreciated. Now they've lost where we are, as you can see by the eye thing. So we might be able to go sneak under the roof. Oh, he's okay, yes, nice. Hello, 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 where are you? Hello. Okay. Drop down here. cover. I definitely feel like something's coming around this corner. No? Even the zombie AI feels like it's trying to flank you a lot of the time. Oh, he's moving into the building, see? They didn't realize I had left the building, so they were moving in to get me. Okay, that's a lot of which is one of the better assault rifles in the game that uses this caliber. And that is the second reason we came. 
actually. With how damaged it is, this is still better. But once we get this patched up, it is definitely the better option for us. Now, we definitely want this. So we're going to drop this. Unload this. Unload this. And because we got these, we no longer need an MP5. But uh, we might be able to get some money off it. We got a 911 here. We got a uh, army med kit, which is a lot better than ours, but we definitely don't want to be using those as early in the game. Later in the game, we'll get a lot more abundant than the normal ones, and then we'll start using them. But at the moment, we definitely don't want to waste it. So we're going to drop this stuff here. I see this gun here. Is 9 by 19 which is the, M the MP5 uses, and that's an American caliber. Whereas, the, uh, the Makarov here uses the 9x18, which is slightly smaller. And that is a Russian round, as far as I know. <laughs> I should have drank in that age. <sighs> Because you do actually get drunk, and that effect does get worse the more you've had. Backpack. Backpack. Any rad meds? At this point in game, we're going to be using a lot more vodka, but later in game, we can start using the, the meds. Now this shotgun is in better shape, so we're gonna unload this one. We're gonna ditch it, we're gonna bring this one over. This is in better shape, and we want it. This is a much better shaped uh, 1911 here. So we're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab these bullets, or shells, I guess. Pellets, slugs. I don't really see what type they were. Because there are pellets, slugs, shells, all those. These are shot round, yeah. So these basically, they're like the, they're like spreading, like bird shot or buck shot or whatever. We're not really too familiar on the different types of shotgun ammo. Sorry. Unload, got these. This is a man that we used to dump all our gear. do give off radiation in this game. I'm not entirely sure why. I don't know if that's a real thing, but it happens. So let's hit shift. That is amazing. Two overload move at all. Now keep in mind, we are carrying this, which is 2.50 uh, kilograms, so that is a lot. And we can carry up to 10 more than your max weight, but up to 5 more slows you a bit, like, and it, er, it, like, uh, it lowers your stamina a lot, it, like, halves it, up to 10 more, once you're at, like, 10 more, and you're at 60, that's when you, like, start moving really slow, and once you go over 60, you can't move. So we're just gonna drop this, and we can move again, see, let's see how fast our stamina goes down, so that means we're gonna be in for a long walk. But yeah, I'm gonna walk all this episode here, and I'll come back whenever anything happens. I'm just gonna start, uh, walking towards, um, the safe spot. Uh, the ship. The city. This is the first. Basically, it's a shipwrecked, uh, ship here that's in the middle of a swamp.
swamp for some reason. And basically, it is used as a makeshift city for stalkers. So I will see everybody there. Or if I run into anyone or anything on the way, I will tune in then. And see you. Uh, see ya.